Welcome back to County Connection. In the past segment, we had folks on from Early Childhood Options who talked about the Pyramid Plus approach to supporting social and emotional health among young children in our community. And for this segment, we're gonna see what some of those strategies look like in action. And so we have with us Georgette Contos from Summit County Public Health. Welcome, Georgette. Thank you. And Nancy Martin, who is a licensed professional counselor in our community. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. So we're gonna focus on play therapy mm -hmm. for this segment. And can you talk about where that fits into the Pyramid Plus model that Elizabeth was talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what Elizabeth explained is there's various tiers to the Pyramid model. I work at the top, uh, which is the intensive therapy. So that would be um, intensive uh, interventions. So play therapy is a part of that process when you're working with young children. It's the appropriate therapy to provide because play is the child's language. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And um, and so there is a process that you go through um, mm -hmm. in play therapy uh, as a counselor. Yes. And so can you take us through the steps? So what is step one for that right. child? So the first step when the child comes in uh, to the room is um, establishing rapport and it's an exploration stage. So the child comes into the room and the relationship is established around trust. My role would be to support the child in what the child wants to express to me. So the child will express anger, frustration, sadness, um, and for me to really help support that process. It looks very dysregulated uh, through that process, but that's actually part of a much longer process through the play therapy. Okay, and then so the next step is that the child, when faced with um, some of those emotions you talked about or a challenge, realizes that he or she has some choices. Right, some choices as well as it's a, just a deeper process. It's more called the working stage. So the working stage of the play therapy looks like um, it, can, it can look pretty intense for the kids. So the child um, has established rapport. I've established rapport and support with the child. The child um, is uh, looking at really showing through that play therapy process um, that those really core concerns. So it might look like an event comes up um, that was a concern to the child or there was a person that um, something happened. And so through that uh, process, um, it's really difficult and that's where the intensive part comes in. Um, my role is to really support the child and really help the child learn um, new cognitive um, ways and behavioral ways to manage their, you know, whatever their their goal is. So that's the that's the second process, and that working stage can can last like five or six sessions. Okay, and then um, the third step then is when um, a child is trying a new choice. Right. Right, Trial, try, tries on new choices, so you start to see more empowerment come in play. And so that empowerment might look like, um, uh, you know, being able to stand really, you know, tall and, and strong in a moment that would have crumbled the child previously. Okay. Um, so that's where you see regulation, and regulation can look like uh, clear focused thinking, um, the better sleep process. Um, teachers may notice, you know, better better work at school. Parents may notice the child more agreeable, and that's where you really start to see those individual goals unfold that the parent has as well as the child, and um, that's the really exciting part. So my um, role in that is not only to help through that process is that the child also creates a new neural network. So it's like a rewiring of the brain. Okay. So the child becomes really dysregulated, goes through the working stage, and then becomes empowered. And that's where you see the rewiring of the brain, and you start to see that self-regulation. OK. So you guys are going to do a role play for us we are. Um, to, to take a look at um, kind of what this might really look like on the ground, so to speak. Yes. Um, so why don't we go ahead and can you set this up for us? Sure. Okay. 
Georgette is going to play the part of the child and I'm going to play the part of the therapist. Um, we're on the floor because normally um, in the play therapy room we're sitting on the floor with the child and this is going to be a short demonstration of the of a longer play therapy process. Mm. Oh. Scary. Wow. Looks really scary. Wow. Oh, okay. Somebody's there with you. It's really scared. Hmm. You're still looking really scared. You want me to know what happened. Yeah. I get it. Something really scary happened. It was really scary. Shake it out. Oh, you're getting, okay. Getting braver. Oh, so mom really needs to be there with you. So is dad. Oh, she kind of fell over. Got her, you really need her support. Yeah. Wow, you're, you're, oh, scary, scary. Oh, you're getting braver. <sighs> Whoa, wow. Wow, that was really amazing. I get it, you really want me to know that you were able to approach it and you needed a lot of support from your family. All right, Nancy, why don't you take us through what was happening there? Okay, right. Um, so w through the play therapy process, it's a very subtle process. Um, so initially when the dinosaur came in, the dinosaur was very angry. It was very scary to the self-identified object, which was the smaller child, which Georgette put in front of the dinosaur. So a child will often want the therapist to get what happened and just being able to reflect, I, I get it. It was really scary. You want me to know that what happened. And then um, the child, as Georgette pulled the, the family closer. So reflecting that the family supports needed to be there and that that's what the child needed. And then the child kind of tried on getting closer to the dinosaur and then retracted and uh, needed to have that family again. Then got closer to the dinosaur that again reflected either the event or possibly a person that was scary um, and became empowered. So that would be the empowerment that I talk about in stage three, that um, that child you know, becomes empowered. That's where, again, uh, parents start seeing um, developmental appropriateness in cognitive levels, um, uh, social levels as well as emotional levels. And um, the other part about the play therapy process is that um, parents um, are given support through the process, through strategies. Um, so that's part of my role is to really help the parents um, meet those goals, give the strategies to the parents and help that child meet their goals. Excellent. And so as we've seen some of these uh, strategies implemented more broadly throughout the community through the Pyramid Plus work, uh, what are some of the results that we're seeing so far? Well, so as far as early intervention, I mean, we've seen m much fewer calls than we used to see in the past over behavioral issues. Oh, wow. Um, because the environments have been tweaked, the coaches are in place, and it's working. So early interventions, part in this is always to help uh, children with developmental delays and social emotional is one big piece of that. You know, we treat physical and, and uh, cognitive and other things and speech as well. But this is a, a huge piece because without the foundation, you really can't move to the other higher functioning levels. So we've got two initiatives going. We contract with therapists such as Nancy, we have three. Um, 
and a total team of 14 that all team together to put the strategies in place. And then and it's home visitation or wherever the child normally is. Is the problem in this center? Is it, you know, um, at home? And then the second piece is that we're developing a home visitor component too to it so that a coach maybe will result out of one of our home visitors and then they can coach the, the rest of the team, the rest of the providers and the parents in these strategies. So can we go from there? All right. So Georgette, can you tell folks at home how they could get in touch with you to learn more about this work? So for the intervention piece, you know, early intervention is part of Summit County Public Health, and you can reach that office um, at 668-9161, and uh, anyone can make a referral. All right. Well, thanks very much, ladies. Okay. It was great to see this up close in person. Okay. And uh, stick with us. For our next segment, we will be talking about Public Health Week.